quick vlog video today guys. I'm gonna be showing you what I put in my gym bag, so stay tuned. Roll intro. doing a quick vlog based video today trying to get back in the swing of things but today that I decide I'd show you what I put in my gym bag now I've been thinking about doing this video for a while now it's finally coming to fruition so here's my gym bag it's a nice Under Armour duffel bag I don't know what the product is called uh, I got this for my birthday back in 2017 when I turned 23 uh, from my girlfriend I've got my nice little Spider-Man keychain. I have a Super Saiyan Goku keychain from my friend Seth. It's not on here right now. I recently removed it because it has my other gym tags on it that I have to get. Um, well, I canceled the gym membership, so I just have to take those off and put it back on. But it's in my car. So opening up, I don't really have a whole lot in here. I thought I'd just start with the basics. This thing's nice. It's got a little pocket. I think this might be for your phone or something. You can just slide in there real quick. Or maybe essentials. There's a few things I like to put in my gym bag. First thing being a weightlifting belt. If this sucker would stay open, we'd be having a good time. So like I said, the first thing I like to pack in my gym bag is a weightlifting belt. This is an old one I got back in 2015. Just a basic harbinger belt. I mean, like every, every person has one of these, I think, or gets one of those at one point in time in their lifting career. But that's the first thing is a nice weightlifting belt. So you can just stick it in there. That's the first thing I'll put in there because, I mean, I never know when I'm going to be doing deadlifts or squats or something's going to come up or I want to really want to try for a PR. Actually, I do know, but the thing is you never know when you're going to want to try using a lifting belt to push it just a little bit extra. Solid option to have in the gym bag. Okay, next up is I like to put in my clothes. So depending on the weather, uh, actually not depending on the weather, I always have spandex. I like working on compression shorts. It's just my preference for multiple reasons I, of which I will not get into. Uh, then, depending on the weather, shorts or sweatpants, and finally a t-shirt, and yes, the t-shirt I was wearing is the t-shirt I'm wearing to the gym. Depending on the lifts or my routine for the day, I will either have a pair of flat shoes and or running shoes. Um, sometimes I take both, sometimes I wear one and have the other one in the bag. But yeah, I like to keep it so that I have everything I need as far as clothing goes. So that'll all go in there. Typically I'll wear one pair of shoes and have the other in hand or something or throw it in the bag, but I like to fold my clothes as it gives me much more room for other things in the bag. Next option is this little side pocket right here. I like to keep a couple toiletries. Um, first and foremost being some sort of deodorant. This is a spray on deodorant that I find works a little bit, uh, a little bit better than a stick, especially when you're sweaty and you're trying to get done with the gym, you go somewhere else with a dry spray. I don't typically use the sprays or deodorants that contain aluminum, this one does. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, I might get rid of this one soon, it's almost empty. I've had it for a while, I don't really use it that often. The only time I use it is if I'm done running or going to the gym and I really need something strong uh, to go somewhere else afterwards. I really need that protection, so I throw that in there. I'll probably be replacing that with a stick soon of some sort of natural deodorant. I keep bars of soap in case I'm gonna hit the showers afterwards. Um, you know, you get just find these when you go traveling to a hotel or something. Um, this is some measuring tape in case someone ever wants to know uh, how big your calves are or your biceps are, and you can always keep track and make sure you know you keep your measurements and your goals in line. Next thing. So, like so. See the belt, the clothes, and the shoes. Depending on the weather, I might also throw a hoodie in there or wear one. In this pocket here, I've got some wrist wraps. You never know when you're gonna need those. Um, actually, you do. So like for bench press and things like that to stabilize the wrists, I got some wrist wraps. You might also find one of these body sprays in my side pocket here with the other toiletries in case I do have to make a quick run or an errand after the workout and I don't want to smell too terrible. Uh, this just makes sure that I can uh, go into town without feeling too self-conscious about how I smell. If I get really gross, I don't want to stink up whatever store I'm going into. So I mostly carry one of these with me too in this side pocket. That's pretty much it. That's my minimalism gym bag right there. 
So as you can see guys, I take a pretty minimalistic approach when it comes to my gym bag. Just don't use a whole lot and I like to make a good clean simple workout without having to Look, lug around a house with me or a whole bunch of crap. So I'm really just a plain basic guy. I like to do everything with what I just have on me, which is my, my body, my shoes, and the weights at the gym. I like to keep it simple, keep it clean, and not have to use a bunch of different like slingshots or bands or things like that. And I can implement those. I do have a bag of bands. I don't ever take it with me, but I use that at home. So that's just me. That's my gym bag, guys. Down there on the ground, taking it today. Hope you guys have a good one. Take it easy, Team 90 out.